The Kabul Star was towed to Trinidad for repairs today after an engine room fire which disrupted its sailings. Passengers endured almost 18 hours on the cargo ferry due to the unavailability of a Coast Guard vessel. In light of this, a stakeholder is advocating for Tobago to own a dedicated Marine Emergency Response Unit for timely assistance. Candace Jackson has the details. Engineers are currently tasked with determining the cause of the engine room fire on the Cabo Star. The vessel was towed to Trinidad on Friday. Interestingly, the Cabo Star had recently returned from dry dock after undergoing repairs a few weeks ago. In the meantime, the Port Authority, upon disembarking, all passengers underwent medical examinations in a designated area at the terminal. While 63 Tobago based passengers returned home, four traveled to Trinidad on the Galleons Passage. Furthermore, the Port Authority arranged accommodation for 13 passengers at a guest house. All 92 passengers and crew endured 18 hours on the vessel without electricity due to the unavailability of an appropriate Coast Guard response vessel. In 2017, an interceptor was assigned to Tobago, which is currently undergoing repairs. The two newly acquired Cape class vessels have been assigned to different locations in Trinidad. Addressing the issue, Alvin Douglas, former Coast Guard officer and head of the Tobago Marine Safety and Security Services emphasize that this is a recurring yet significant problem. It always starts where you, you have a vessel that is, um, that is, is stationed in Tobago and for some reason, for whatever reason, the powers that be feel that it's better needed uh, somewhere else and mm -hmm. Tobago is, 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 is kept wanting. Douglas believes the situation has serious implications and highlights a major deficiency in Tobago. And because of that, you need to have a safety response specifically geared to treat it activities on the Marine Coast. We have fishermen missing all the time. Given Tobago's numerous water-related activities, Douglas asserts that establishing an independent marine safety unit is crucial. I think it's the mandate of the Tobago House of Assembly to make sure that there is some way that they can call upon professionals to go out there in your likely event of an incident. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates Television News.